What's up, y'all? B Marsh Boxing back at it with another breakdown and prediction. Got this big fight coming up January the 2nd. First fight of 2021. Very good fight for the first fight of 2021. We got Luke Campbell from the UK, former guy, uh, not former, but a gold medal Olympian in the 2012 Olympics. 20 wins, uh, three losses, I think 16 KOs versus Ryan Garcia, young upstart cup up. A uh, young contender out of uh, California, Ryan Garcia. Um, 20 wins, zero losses, 17 KOs. Okay, so this is a very good fight right here, you know what I mean? I think it's for some WBC interim title. Why? I don't know it's for, why is it for an interim title. Should just be for the mandatory. Whoever wins this fight faces the WBC champ, which is De Devin Haney. But that's neither here nor there. Hopefully, that's what happens. The winner of this fight faces Devin Haney. But um, we got Ryan Garcia, you know. He got the age advantage. He's uh, about uh, at least by like 10, 11 years. You know what I mean? He check it. At least 10 to 11 years, he got the age advantage. He's about 23. The man, uh, 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 Luke Campbell's probably about 33. You know what I mean? Now, this is a very good fight right here, you know. The best, the, f the first step up fight for the man, uh, 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 Ryan Garcia, you know what I mean? You check it. Now, both of these guys, they could have fought the man Devin Haney rather than Devin Haney fighting Uriokis Gamboa, but I guess they felt it's better for them to fight for an interim title rather than the world title. Hey, I don't know what, what, what kind of logic that makes, but that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about this fight, you know what I mean? Well, for the first time probably in Luke Campbell's um, career, one of the few times, he, he won't have the, the height advantage, you know what I mean? He won't have the height advantage, you know? The man, Ryan Garcia, is probably even an inch taller than him. I think Ryan Garcia is 5'10", as opposed to the man, uh, Luke Campbell, who's about 5'9", you know what I mean? But Luke Campbell has a, the... The, the reach advantage by one inch, 71 inches, as opposed to Ryan Garcia's, who's at 70, you know? So, will the uh, the reach make a difference in the height? It might just, it, it might, it just might, because like I said, Luke Campbell's not used to fighting guys unless he's usually taller than them, you know what I'm saying? Now, Luke Campbell has three losses, one to Ivan Mendy, one to Lomachenko, one to Linares, you know what I mean? While the man, um, what's his name, uh, Ryan Garcia has no losses, you know. But um, I think Ryan Garcia, he has his tools to beat the man, um, what's his name, Luke Campbell. But he's going to have to tighten up his defense, you know what I mean? Tighten up his defense, especially when he's throwing combination. Ryan Garcia throws one punch at a time for the most part, you know what I'm saying? He ain't a better body puncher than Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell mixes up his punch variety, you know what I'm saying? He has a better punch arsenal, in my opinion, than the man Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, now, when he has you hurt, yes, he lets his hand go, displays the hand speed, you know what I mean? But at times, he can get wild himself, you know what I mean? Throwing looping shots, wide shots, trying to get fellas up out of there, loading up. And that's where the man Luke Campbell has to be very um, proficient with his timing and catch the man, whether it's with them digging in vicious left uppercut or right uppercut into the rib cage or to the chin or clocking him with the overhand right or the right hook, you know what I'm saying? Luke Campbell, I think, got a better jab, and that's what he's going to have to use. He's going to have to have a Ike Quarte type of jab. I'm trying to tell you, man. He's going to have to have a ramrod stiff type of jab, keep this guy at the end of the jab, you know what I'm saying? Break him down with the jab and dig to the body and po possibly catch him with the right hooks, disguise the jab as a hook, or overhand right, you know what I mean? Or his looping left left hand, which is sometimes a straight punch, but he could also loop it as a kind of hook, you know what I mean? His left, being that he's a southpaw. Ryan Garcia is a good counter puncher, you know what I mean? He's going to be waiting for the man, what's his name? Uh, um, Luke Campbell to, you know, to take, uh, to make, miss shots. So Luke, uh, Ryan Garcia could take advantage, you know what I mean? But I think that the man, Luke Campbell, needs to know this going into this fight and not give this guy any opportunity for counterpunching, you know what I'm saying? And he's going to have to do that by staying out of range, you know what I mean? Occasionally, he's going to have to mix it up by stepping on the inside and roughing the man up. There's a fighter by the name of Morales. I uh, can't remember, his, but he's a guy that I think, uh, what's his name, fought in his last fight? 
Jorge Linares knocked out in his last fight. Well, this is a common opponent that Linares and Ryan Garcia had, the Morales guy who took the guy, Ryan Garcia, the distance. Ryan Garcia only escaped with the majority decision, you know? And this guy was rough and tumble with the man Ryan Garcia got on the inside. He was the shorter fighter. Of course, he had to get on the inside and go to work. Ryan Garcia, I mean, oh, what's his name? Luke Campbell has to take a playbook, uh, a play out of the man Morales' playbook. And he's also going to have to dig in them body shots. He's a good body puncher, Luke Campbell is, you know what I mean? Especially from range when he catches you with the with the one-two or lead left hand, gets closer, and then he digs in some nice body shots, and then he can throw that right hook or overhand left, you know what I mean? It's going to have to be a, a very... Ryan, what's his name? Going to have to fight a perfect fight, Luke Campbell, you know what I'm saying? Now, Ryan Garcia ain't never lost, don't know what it is like to lose. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't going for that. Luke Campbell, on the other hand, like I said, the youth and the age advantage goes to the man Ryan Garcia. And the youth and the age advantage and the freshness of Ryan Garcia could determine whether Luke Campbell would be victorious in this fight or not. And I think that the left hook is something that the man Luke Campbell got to be very aware of. You know what I mean? And he got to keep his right hand up like a telephone slim. I'm trying to tell you. He going to have to keep it up like a telephone at all times. You know what I'm saying? Pump his jab. Bring that shit right back. Pump his jab. Pump. And he, and he got to have a ramrod, Ike Quarte type of jab for 12 rounds. Or up until, if he can, dissect and break the man down to the very last compound. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's going to have to do. Otherwise, he's going to be giving the man opportunities the man, uh, what's his name, uh, Ryan Garcia, opportunities to, to counter punch if the man, um, Luke Campbell, is not on his A game as far as his offense, you know what I mean? Both of them are not defensive maestros, you know what I mean? But I give the edge to defense more to Luke Campbell. I think Ryan Garcia, look, he's not no European fighter, but he's a pretty upright fighter, you know what I mean? Keeps his chin up in the sky. Stands up pretty tall and and high, you know what I mean? Maybe because he's a tall he's a taller guy, you know what I'm saying? But he's pretty um upright and he doesn't bring back his hands to his head to protect his head when he's throwing combinations. Luke Campbell must realize this and take advantage, you know what I mean? These are very key things, in my opinion, that could be the difference between who wins this fight or not, you know what I mean? Luke Campbell, I think, going to have to use very good foot movement, you know what I'm saying, in order to cut off the ring and not give this guy, Ryan Garcia, any angles for left hooks or straight right hands from the orthodox fighter in, in uh, Ryan Garcia, you know what I'm saying? The, le the left hook, he's going to have to keep, uh, Luke Campbell going to have to keep circling to his left, you know what I'm saying? Circling to his left, you know what I mean? But at the, at the, at the, whole, the whole time, though, he's going to have to keep his right hand up like a telephone, pumping that jab circling to his left and looking for opportunities to land his left hand and left hooks to deliver left uppercuts to the sternum and the rib cage you know and i'm saying disguise the the, the 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 body punching keep that body punching going disguise it like you're throwing a, a left to the to the to, to the body and come over the top with a straight left hand a looping left hand or a left uppercut there's numerous punches that the man, uh, what's his name, Luke Campbell, can employ to uh, offset Ryan Garcia. I think if he keeps the pressure on him, we ain't going to see no combination punching from the man Ryan Garcia. Now, Ryan Garcia, his keys to victory in order, because look, 20 and those 17 KOs, he should be trying to, you know, if not get a stoppage, he should be, be able, he should be looking to comprehensively break the man Ryan Garcia down with his athleticism and his youth, you know what I mean? And I think he, in order to do that, he's going to have to be bouncing more on his toes, you know what I'm saying? More head movement, which he don't got the head movement you would think he should have, like, especially being trained by Eddie and Chepo Reynoso, you know what I'm saying? That's one concern that I do have about Ryan Garcia is his defense and the lack of head movement, you know what I'm saying? And not only lack of head movement, but also bringing back his hands to his grill, to his head, after he lets his punches go, you know what I mean? And I think Luke Campbell got to take advantage of that all night, you know what I'm saying? And he's going to have to be the aggressor. No if ands, no way around it, you know what I mean? He can't be there trying to box a safe fight because now this is now fighting in, um, you're fighting in a foreign country. You're fighting now against the Golden Boy's biggest star. 
It ain't no longer cannoli. It's this guy in the making, Ryan Garcia, a Mexican-American fighter. But I think that the man Ryan Garcia got the skills to pay the bills as far as, you know, hard punching, precise counter punching, got a vicious left hook, beautiful right hand. Luke Campbell got the body punching, got the better footwork, got a slightly better defense, got the better jab for sure by far. So all these tools are going to have to offset each other, you know what I mean? But I think this victory right here will go probably to... It's going to be tough, man. But I think Ryan Garcia might get a close split or majority decision. Or or the man Ryan Garcia... I'm sorry, Luke Campbell could win this fight. But he probably won't get the decision if it's a close split or majority decision type of fight. You know what I mean? You check it. I think it's going to be a very close fight. And um, I think Luke Campbell will probably... Unless he he wins clearly... A good eight rounds, nine rounds to three, eight rounds to four. I don't see him getting a close decision, you know what I'm saying? But I think um, Luke Campbell does have what have what it takes to get uh, a wide decision, you know what I'm saying? But he's going to have to be on his dean. He's going to have to be focused, and he's going to have to let his hands go. Not in no pity pat type of style or trying to accumulate points. He's going to have to put the hurt game down on Ryan Garcia, you know what I mean? But if I had to put my money on it, prediction time, I have to give this fight slightly edge to the man Ryan Garcia simply because of youth and also simply because the man um, Luke Campbell, you know what I mean? What happens when he gets clocked on the chin, you know what I'm saying? You check it, I do believe Ryan Garcia hits harder. But also the man Luke Campbell got to believe that he hits harder too and he got to test the man Ryan Garcia's chin. There was a guy, I forgot the guy's name, that the man Ryan Garcia fought. And the guy gave him some troubles, you know what I mean? Uh, he eventually stopped him. It's one of the many Hispanic fighters he fought. I can't remember who, what his name was. It wasn't the Dominican guy with the afro. <sighs> forgot the guy's name, but he got on the inside. And when he was on close quarters, the man Ryan Garcia, he was trying to shell up, you know what I'm saying? But punches were getting through. And he was trying to go backwards while trying to shell up. And that dude was having some success, you know what I mean? And Luke Campbell, I think, got to do the same thing, you know? But time will tell. But I got to put this fight, give the victory to the man Ryan Garcia slightly. But I think Luke Campbell could win this fight. And I think if he does, he's going to have to win it wide. Because a, spl a split or majority decision ain't cutting it. Be Marsh Boxing, leave your thoughts and comments. Let me know who y'all think going to win this fight. And we'll catch y'all in the next one. If you're new to the channel, please share and subscribe. And if you like the content, hit that thumbs up. And we'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm gone. Peace.